Hey everybody, Tracy White here again with uh, another video, uh, T Earl on the UE4 forums. So um, last time we set up a save game, uh, so we were able to save best times per level, um, level index, uh, a little message per level, you know, whether level is unlocked or uh, completed or not. So we're going to press on from there and. Um, we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is save um, the, the time whenever you play a level. So what I did is I put together a few levels. Um, if you look at my maps, you'll see I have level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And they're just uh, simple little levels. Um, and there's not going to be really a flow from level to level quite yet. Um, what I want to show is how we can pull the best time for the level and compare uh, the time uh, that it took us to complete the level. All right. So what I did here is, uh, if you remember from last video, we did our save game stuff, and at the end, uh, I had printed uh, based on the level index the uh, start level text that went along with it. Well, what I also did is I pulled off this uh, time, uh, best time and uh, I'm going to do a print string on that as well. So whenever I start this level, you'll see the, the message and the best time for the level, which is defaulted to 999. Okay. Our timer, which is down here, is set to as long as the level's not ended, we're going to count the time. But once the level is ended, we're going to stop counting and we need to do something with that. Well, let's do something with that. Alright, so I'm going to drag off of here and this is something I want to do once. Do once. And I am going to do a compare. Okay, so whenever I do a compare integer I want to take my time uh, from the counter that we just set. And what I want to compare that to is the best time. So I'm going to pull down uh, best time and get a reference to that. Now it is an array, so we're going to have to get the correct index for that. So we'll do a get, and then we'll pull in our level index and feed that into our index number and then we're going to be comparing our timer with the stored best time for this level. Hopefully that makes sense. We know this works because back over here we did the exact same thing and printed that our level uh, time was 999. Okay, so if if the um, counter or our timer is greater than the best time, then we don't have the best time. We're going to let's just print uh, something snarky like boohoo. All right. If it's the same, let's go ahead and print boohoo too. But if it's better, then we'll print. Um, you uh, beat the best time. All right, so let's do a save on that, and uh, we'll go ahead and run this level. And it, as long as I beat 999 seconds, it should say you beat the best time. Level ended, you beat the best time. Remember, we have a print string on uh, when we hit the uh, end tile that, that says level ended. All right. Well, what do we want to do whenever we uh, beat the time? Well, we want to go ahead and, and save that. Okay. So, when, once we beat the best time, we want to go ahead and I'm going to get another reference to this. <clears throat> get
get the, the best time array and then we want to set uh, an array element and that is going to be based on the current level index and we want to set this to whatever our timer is um, for the current level and that's what what we just did okay so we'll go ahead and feed that into there and then um, let's get our save game connection here and we're just gonna save this one value for now so we'll do it just like we did up here we're going to cast to uh, my save game and we'll pull this in there and then we're going to uh, set best time and that best time is going to be uh, the best time from I don't have to ah, copy it again I'll just pull it straight from here alright so we'll set that best time right there hopefully that'll work and uh, once that's done we'll do a save uh, game uh, to slot and remember our save game was called um, a maze save right a maze save so we're overriding that um, our connection of course here is the save game connection <clears throat> alright so what this should do is um, once the level is ended um, it's going to compare our uh, time to the best time stored uh, on level index of our current level and if it is less than if our time is less than the best time it's going to tell us we beat the time it's going to set the best time uh, ele uh, array element for our current level index to our current level time then we're going to go ahead and uh, save that uh, new array element for that variable best time into our save game slot All right. so to test that let's go ahead and play through this level you see it says 999 is our default We'll go ahead and come around here and you beat the best time level ended all right so I went in and stopped but whenever I play this again it comes up and tells us well 14 so whenever I went through this level last it took 14 you'll notice my little UMG HUD uh, element which is our timer is off so I'm gonna try to beat that 14 and see level ended boohoo I didn't beat the time alright but most importantly what you saw here whenever I replay the level is that we have a new uh, stored time and that is our best time alright so just to go over that real quick again when the level is ended we will compare our level time to the stored best time for the level index that we're on and if it's less than we're gonna say you beat the best time then we're gonna set that new best time uh, in the array of the current index level index to our timer and then we're gonna save that to the slot alright just to show how that works let's uh, load up level 2 which is very similar we'll go ahead and play this and we'll see 999 and another easy one alright so let's run through this maze real quick and it should tell us level ended and you beat the best time good so if I play this level again 
it tells me that 16 seconds is now the new best time for this level. Hip hip hooray. Oh hey, I beat the best time again. What is the best time now? Well, I beat it by three seconds, so it's 13 seconds now. So now you can see how we can compare our level time to our stored best time, set the new uh, best time for that array um, index, and then save it back to our save game. All right, the other thing that I want to do whenever we complete a level is I want to um, set our level completed and uh, our level un and unlock the, the level uh, after that. So we'll go ahead and get our level completed and our level unlock and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for our best time by setting an array element for each of these. Um, to our end level or our, our end level um, value, so which means whenever we hit that end tile, we're we're done with the level, and we're going to put that into our item. Okay, once again, uh, level index is going to be where we set. So the level index in the array for this is now going to be set to true because when a level ends, this uh, variable end level is set to true. Okay, so the tricky part is this one. Uh, level unlocked. I don't want to unlock the current level because it's already unlocked. I want to unlock the next level. So whenever I drag off the level index, I'm going to do a plus integer plus integer so I'm going to do a plus one and we're going to set that in the uh, level unlocked array so that unlocks the next level and later on whenever we create a level select menu that's going to um, unlock that next level which is exactly what we want it to do all right, I'm going to move all this over to the side because we want to make our flow go through here. So we have set our levels uh, or our um, arrays for that, but we also need to set them. So um, I'm going to take my best time set and we're going to also set level completed and level unlocked we're just gonna feed the flow just like this Oops. so my level completed will come into here and my level unlocked we'll go into there. So now whenever we complete a level it's not just setting the best time but it's also setting our level to complete and unlocking the next level. Alright well what happens if we don't get the best time? Well exact same thing that happens here so I'm gonna copy this whole thing and paste it again except we're going to take out the part where we set the uh, the best time because even if you don't make the best time and you complete the level you want to set that the levels complete and unlock the next level so it really doesn't matter if you've uh, set the best time or not alright so if you get equal or greater than uh, the best time boohoo you didn't beat it but because you did complete the level we're setting the level complete and unlocking the next level if you did beat the best time then you're gonna go ahead and set the new best time for that level um, and of course mark the level as complete and unlock the next level alright so next time we get in here oh and uh, you're gonna save all of that to your 
your save game. Next time we get in here, we're really, I swear, we're going to get into UMG and, uh, uh, you know, our, our menus and everything. Uh, but all of this stuff really has to be set up in order to get into that uh, for it to work right. So uh, I'm going to leave on that. Um, now we, we are saving our best times per level. So we'll see you next time with uh, menus. Thanks for watching.